Hello, I'm Dr. Benita Rattan and this channel is dedicated to skincare for skin of colour. So as you know, I'm a doctor, but I'm also a cosmetic formulator specifically for skin of colour. So today's video I think is a really important one um, and it's about facial steaming. Is facial steaming suitable for skin of colour? As we know, skin of colour means that we have to be more careful with our skin. We can't afford to irritate it or inflame it because with us one bite one scratch one burn and we hyperpigment any form of inflammation can irritate our melanocytes the cells that produce a pigment melanin and they start to spit out too much pigment and suddenly we're left with pigmentation on the skin let's talk about facial steaming and why people do it if that sounds good to you give me a thumbs up So why do people steam their faces? The reason they tend to steam is because they think it opens up the pores, they think it helps to remove sebum from the skin, they believe it helps to remove pee acne from the skin and to decongest the skin. Some people feel like it's hydrating, um, others feel that it improves the penetration of actives into the skin. And some people use it with essential oils to relax and you know that's their form of self-care. So as you probably can tell, I, however, Dr. V, is not a fan of steaming the face. What it tends to do is it tends to exacerbate any eczema, it exacerbates any rosacea, and actually if you have melasma, it, it can also make the situation worse because heat energy also stimulates the melanocytes. Yes, it does open the pores, but actually what it's doing is you have more transepidermal water loss. So more water is actually evaporating from your skin. And that's why we say if you have eczema, for example, you have a short, lukewarm shower and you pat your skin dry after, you don't have a steaming hot shower because it's actually just going to make the eczema worse. If you're doing it to try and remove sebum from the skin and pea acne is the bacteria that um, exacerbates acne, then there are better ways to do it. So you would use a BHA or salicylic acid at 2%, which is an oil soluble um, acid, which goes into the pore and helps to unclog the pore. Um, and clay masks also help to do the same thing. As an effective antibacterial, I would recommend 2%, 2.5% of benzoyl peroxide for skin of color. Um, that again is gonna be far more effective than steaming the face. Don't forget, when you have acne, you already have irritated, inflamed skin. That's why it's red. Those fatty acids that are in the skin are irritating your skin and triggering the melanocytes. And that's why you then get pigmentation after you have a spot. So why then would you further irritate the skin with steam and heat on already inflamed skin? It just doesn't make any sense. If you want to increase the permeability of your skin to active, there are better ways to do it. Two things I would recommend. Number one, a hydrating toner. What a hydrating toner does, one without alcohol or witch hazel, is it essentially turns your skin from a dry sponge into a wet sponge. A wet sponge is going to absorb more. So that's a great thing to do. It also helps to remove any excess dirt on the skin. Um, the other thing I would say is it to exfoliate once to twice a week gently because what that does is it takes the top layer of dead skin away. The skin cells underneath are younger and juicier and they tend to be able to absorb actives more easily than skin that's stacked up, um, dead skin cells that have stacked up one on top of the other. If you want to know the best toners for skin of colour, I've made a video for you on the top, my top three toners for skin of colour. And if you want to know the best exfoliation, how to exfoliate for skin of colour, I've made a separate video for you to watch as well. The other mistakes are to add a skin sensitizer at the time of inflaming the skin. So essential oils plus you know, irritating the skin from heat is a bad idea. I wouldn't use any essential oils, any al drying alcohol on the skin, uh, or any fragrance. 
by adding these skin sensitizers at the same time as having inflamed now dry skin um, you are increasing the free radicals in your skin and free radicals damage collagen lead to premature aging free radicals are the enemy we want to do everything we can to mop up those free radicals by using antioxidants and we do not want to trigger them and this is why we also need to be very careful with what we put on our skin the reason we're steaming our skin is to have that healthy young glow but there's no point doing that in the long term if you're essentially just damaging your own skin you also run the risk of overdoing it um, especially if you're doing it at home so actually i would want you to do the exact opposite i would rather you cooled the skin i would rather that's an anti-inflammatory anything you can do to vasoconstrict and prevent inflammation reduces puffiness of the skin so that's a much better route for us um, in addition when you're steaming the skin another thing that can go wrong is burns so again that's something we definitely need to avoid the reason i didn't make this video for a long time uh, is because i do feel like this is going to upset a lot of people and i'm really sorry if you're one of those people it's just because i was asked to make this video so many times and I don't really, I want our skin of color family to be doing the correct things for their skin. So if you are a therapist and you do steam the skin, I would maybe look into other treatments that cool the skin and are more anti-inflammatory specifically for skin of color. And I really believe that your clientele will appreciate that. So down below, I have a link for the best ingredients for skincare for skin of color, and which ones to avoid. I'm in the comment section for one hour at the launch of every single video. So make sure that you're there with me. Um, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at the Hyperpigmentation Clinic and a Skincare by Dr. V. Thank you very much.